Now that was intense. Hands down, best fight of Fate Stay Night so far. This episode, episode 10, was utterly amazing. And the pretty huge revelation that we get of Emir, like when he's fighting, he summons both of Archer's sword, just blew me away because there's we could take that multiples away. But I'll get into that in a little bit, basically to start off this. Um, basically what went down in this episode is we find out um, that the teacher who was talking to the student president, who Emir like suspected last week, but after the whole strip thing, found out he didn't have a mark. We end up finding out that he's sort of like an older brother to him. And and uh, Kazuki, which is the teacher's name, we find out that he's been staying at the temple and within the last two weeks he's brought back a female who he's introduced as his fiance, so Casta. So because of this, when Rin and Emiya find out this fact, they want to suspect and they want to see if this teacher, Kazuki, if he is an actual master. So what they do is they know his route, they know the way that he walks back from the temple. So they set up like a little ambush to basically test to see if he's a master. And the way they do this is with Rin's like a little shotgun thing. Um, basically what she said was she's just gonna depower it and if it hits him he's just gonna get like a common cold or whatever which seems a bit crazy because when she powers it up she can like blow out doors and windows and such but basically they set this up so we have Emir, we have Rin and we have Saber for some reason Rin wanted to keep Archer out of this fight the reason that she gave was she doesn't she doesn't want uh, Archer anywhere near caster maybe that's because he can be heavily influenced or whatever which sort of works with the whole fact that i'm going to get into in a bit with uh archer and emir being like very similar so anyway to get onto that so as we have this the kazuki the teacher shows up uh rin shoots him he gets hit he's basically fine and all of a sudden caster shows up and it's like this was bound to happen and all hell ensues basically Emir grows a pair, he actually goes out, he confronts um, the teacher because he thought the teacher was obviously a good person, he's his sensei of course, he's gonna think like that. Do we find out that the teacher, yeah, he's letting Caster have free reign, she can do what she wants, he doesn't really care the fact about the fact that she's killing innocent people, and at this time we have Saber running and try and take out the master, and this is where we get like the first twist of the episode. Obviously Caster can't do much to Saber because Saber's got high magic resistance because that's what her class is, so she goes straight for the master but all of a sudden the master blocks her sword attack which isn't something you really see in this series especially if you've fate, seen fate zero masters typically can't one-on-one -on -one, um servants at all so for him to fight like on the front lines as he describes it is very rare and his technique's crazy he basically owns saber he could take a one-on-one -on -one, which is w crazy and with saber being taken down casters basically says to him okay i'll finish off saber while you'll deal with the other masters and kazuki he basically one shots rin he takes her out she's out cold like she gets punched like straight off her feet into a rail and she's basically ko'd and then he starts attacking emir freaking the teacher just punches his is like strengthened uh like it looks like a metal rod or something and it shatters so obviously emmy is like completely defenseless so as he's like being beaten up and such he realizes he needs some weapons he needs some sort of power and since he's like he's basically idolizing archer and his fighting style because we have a little homage to that at the beginning of the episode when he's in the dojo picking up the two swords he once again thinks back to archer's fighting style and his like twin swords and he uses his trace to basically create these swords out of nowhere now what is key about this is at the beginning of the episode we see rin's dream of archer and basically how archer became one of these uh, heroic spirits and uh, it's not really like too in depth explained we just see a bunch of flashbacks flashbacks and such but the phrase that stuck with me and i also seen it in the visual novel but it's been given no context yet is i am the bone of my sword now we could look at this a bunch of ways we could say that archer and emir are one in the same i don't know if any of this is true this is just me theorizing but they could be the same. Emir could be like a distant relative of Archer because from what it looked like in that flashback, people were getting killed with hangings and such and people were still using swords and bows. So it's not really in the current timeline. I don't really understand if they're one and the same, how that sort of flashback would be like connected with um, Emir. But I personally think they're going to be related or they're going to be one and the same. That's the only way it could be possible because after the fight's gone down and these swords happen, we have like a little breakaway section where everyone parts and uh, Caster and Kazuki, the teacher, they escape. And at that time, like Rin's uh, 
basically she like i don't know how she got up actually thinking about it now she seemed perfectly fine all of a sudden like once the fight had died down and saber had come back and saber was like healed and all that ring gets up she's fine and uh we find out she's like questioning um emmy like how did you do that how did you create these swords because apparently the only skill that emmy ever had was strengthening and we find out the first thing he ever like tried to learn was projection so the magic of making things appear but he says the items have always been hollow he's never been able to like create an object so let's say he makes a sword it would just be the outside of a store uh, of a sword so if he struck something the inside would be hollow and it would just snap it'd be proper brittle but these these two like swords that he makes of archers they're solid they work they blocked attacks from this super powered dude who saber lost to and we all know how good saber's fighting styles is so the fact that emir created these blades strong enough to block these guys this guy's attacks there has to be some sort of connection there's no way he just this is the first time he's been successful he's been trying magic like his entire life nearly and he's only been successful at strengthening things so i think the fact that he had this trace he's seen and we've seen that by using his trace he can visualize like the inside and the outer workings of things i think he's got some connection to archer and that's why i think they're either one in the same or he's a distant relative because that's that would make more sense at this like stage so just overall an utterly awesome episode without going too much um into the whole shinji thing because shinji's a douche and it seems like every single episode he's just there to like make us hate him even more i like how the blonde haired dude's there i like how we got to see the basement if you've seen fate zero the feels i got when i seen those chains on the wall to do with the people that have been held in those chains just overall amazing episode i give this a 9 out of 10 i'd give it a 9.5 out of 10 the only thing that it was missing was it needed to be longer and i would have liked that backstory to be like to be for archer's backstory to be flushed out a bit more i know they're not going to give it all at once because they're just slowly poking at it especially with this foreshadowing for emir and archer just their ideals and the fact that when we had the first fight with caster just their back and forth bantering and they're like conflicting like ideals and such that there's definitely something going on here but overall awesome awesome episode i cannot wait for next week cannot wait for episode 13 which uh if you didn't know the final for this series is going to be an hour long and then the second part the last like 12 episodes or whatever will be coming out in april but overall i've been harry be sure to like comment subscribe and all that great stuff and uh i'll see you next week for some more fate day night awesomeness goodbye <laughs>